Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kawisi and I'm the Cycling Minister and it's a privilege to have you here today. So today we're going to do a recap of my record so far. As you can see, I'm in week three. This is the recap for week three. I'm actually in week four now and today I'm going to do a rough rundown of week three. I think it was a really progressive week. Um, I'm excited. I'm already seized I'm, I'm already seeing a bit of benefit. I um, had great workout. I record for actually five days in week three. So that's a quick rundown on the week. What I get up to, how I feel. Straight to the point. I'm feeling positive. I'm feeling optimistic. I love what I'm doing. And for those of you who are new here, welcome. And again, welcome back to the regulars. So that's a quick, quick, quick recap on what I'm doing. So I'm trying to build my build consistency. You know, like many of us, we got work life, we got work and family life that we have to balance and also our personal life. Many of us, especially during the winter, uh, we are not so motivated plus we are busy. So I'm trying to say, let's get on the bike at least half an hour per day for at least four hours per week just to build some consistency and at least try to maintain the fitness which we gain over the summer. If you can't maintain the fitness that which you gain over the summer, at least don't let it slip too much. So anyway, let's get into it. So Monday the 28th, um, Monday the 28th, I did an easy ride for 43, for 43 minutes. So we're just gonna go and have a look at what we did and some of the benefit of the ride. Uh, Monday I did feel tired I didn't get enough rest and on, on, um, on Sunday Sunday night so as I said I take each day and feel just to see how I feel just to see how I feel so um, the relative effort was pretty low it was um, 10 let's go into my heart rate see my heart rate it was moderate most of it was pretty much in endurance or you can say recovery my power curve um not much i think i maintain a steady power throughout i think i just wanted to stay in the recovery zone didn't want to um, push it too much as i said i ride and feel how i feel each day if my body is good i go hard if it's not so good i take it easy but the main thing is, is just get on the bike and ride and make sure you give it your best i can't do your feelings so zone distribution again as you can see here um it's active recovery most of it um a little bit of endurance and be a tempo you know sometimes you get that little bit of spikes sometimes these spikes was me just testing my leg to see how i feel on that particular on that particular day so now let's go back and let us go to tuesday the 29th so tuesday the 29th they said active recovery spin again um again i go and feel in my head i wanted to do a hard ride because i thought because the monday i did an easy one maybe the tuesday i can go hard but again i wasn't able to, able to go hard um let's go and have a look relative effort is um that, that's 14. um heart rate again moderate check out my power curve again as you can see pretty steady pretty steady zone dis zone distribution again as you can see around this block here active recovery and endurance you know these workouts are still effective let us not feel like yeah you yeah you always have to go hard your heart rate has to be high you know you have to sweat like crazy sometimes you can actually take it easy and still have a positive impactful workout these workouts are also beneficial it's good to do zone two it's good to take it easy remember the main thing we're trying to get here is for us to get on the bike and make sure we ride and stay consistency i believe that consistency will yield great result now let's go and have a look what we had on the wednesday as you hear it said it said zwift zwift race academy 2024 race 1b now taking on this race i did not realize at the time as you can see while i'm riding i did not realize at the time that this race 
was a time race it was what you can do in half an hour i just wanted to do something i just wanted to race so i get on the bike and i started to ride my overall time was 45 minutes i managed to average 246 watt for the time however for the half an hour itself you're gonna have a look how much i actually average and as i said to be honest i didn't realize that it was just a time race is how far you can go within that time let's see here relative effort 90 in the red my heart rate um all over the place but threshold 15 minutes so that tell me that i did get a good workout that day and that's the reason why i said i have a good week even a few workers after anyway um my power curve now let's have a look at this one so this is the hill which we went up now let's have a look at my and my power curve so here for the half an hour we raise half an hour half an hour is around here no that's 20 minutes it's a half an hour as you can see for the half an hour i managed to hold 262 watts 262 watts for the half an hour which i'm pretty chuffed with because um i know my fitness is not what it used to be but the main thing is for me just get on the bike ride have fun and enjoy it and make sure that it's beneficial let's now have a look at the day after i think i was fatigued so i just so 46 minutes here plus the 11 minutes again um 200 watts so i think this was for me zone two um yeah actually in this one what i did was a ride and feel and i did a pretty i did a few sprints a few intervals just to keep the leg warm and um even though my body was fatigued i was tired i was still able to get a workout in so i'm gonna have a look on the zone distribution so numero neuromuscular three minutes seven percent anaerobic um yeah so i was just riding having a chat and doing a few sprints anyway i'm gonna pause this full workout so please keep an eye out on my page for this workout for the for the ride for the race zwift academy race i finished on a high and this is why i'm smiling i'm so excited i'm gonna post the full video and i want you to watch it so sunday the third which was the last day of day three i decided that i'm gonna give it a go i'm gonna see what i can able to hold in one hour in zwift yeah so my ftp at the time was 255 so i said on the sunday i'm feeling fresh because i took two days off I took two days off um yeah i took two days off the bike so the sunday i was feeling fresh so i said let me do this ride let me go up the arm let me see if my ftp was actually accurate if i can hold my 255 watts for an hour and as you can see here i'm excited to say i was able to hold 261 watt for an hour three weeks in the training maybe i've gained five watt i'm not sure but all i know i'm excited to know that i'm seeing improvement already i was able to hold 261 watt for an hour which i'm pretty tough things like this motivate us and we have to learn to celebrate small result it's small but you know it's good but anyway let's jump in and have a look um relative effort 174 let's go to heart rate most of it was in threshold power curve let's see what, what i managed to manage to hold so so far i was doing doing pretty good up until well i trying to keep it steady so while i was going up the hill I was saying that each switchback, if I can average over 255 watts, I know I'll be able to hold my FTP. And I think this was pretty impressive for me. And I want to do a separate video about this. Please stay tuned for it. That I believe that the one hour FTP test is the best one for 
for us to do no matter what rider you are i believe the most accurate one is to do a warm-up which i did do a bit of warm-up and then you go hard obviously don't blow yourself out but time yourself for an hour and see your maximum power and that i believe is the most accurate one the ramp test um depends on the type of rider you are the ramp test might suit you it may not if you're a lighter rider the ramp test won't suit you really and um if you're a heavier rider the 20 minutes test may not suit you however the one hour test that's right in the middle right in the ballpark i think that is best for us to do i'm gonna do a separate video on that one um yeah so stay tuned and keep an eye out on the channel for that one I need to do a ramp test first. I haven't done a ramp test in over a year now. I did do the 20 minutes FTP test a few weeks ago. That's on my channel as well. Please check it out. So zone distribution right here. Um, threshold VO2 max. So that's how I end my week. I end it under high. And I'm feeling pretty tough that I'm seeing result. I know I waffle on a bit. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm still new to this. I'm still trying to, you know, work my way into it. Um, I just want to share my experience and um, hopefully I can continue to motivate myself, hold myself accountable and motivate others. And in finishing, please set yourself achievable goal. Set yourself achievable goal and also celebrate your achievement and try to stay consistent. Sometimes you gotta fight the feeling you got to fight the fatigue. Remember, make every ride count. Just get on the bike, ride account to how you feel. As for me, I don't have a particular workout in mind for the next day. Yes, I'll say Sunday is my race day. But apart from that, I don't have a particular workout in mind. I get up and in the morning or in the afternoon, I see how I feel. And then I jump on the bike, spin my leg and see if my legs and my mind are in unison, if they're in one accord. And then I go accordingly. Sometimes you got to listen to your body and take a full rest of an injury and hopefully you can come back better. But anyway, thanks for stopping by. I know what for long, please forgive me. I hope you understand what I'm saying and I hope you enjoyed the video. And please remember to like, subscribe and share and I will see you in the next one. The main thing is just get on your bike and ride, spin the leg and get that consistency going. All right, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.